Hi there, this is Sarah from Smarter Travel and I'm in Houston, Texas. I'm here checking out the art scene, the food scene, and basically just finding out what cool stuff there is to do here on a long weekend. So how did I get here? I flew nonstop from Newark. It's about three and a half hours or so. Uh, the nice thing about Houston is that it has two different airports, so it's easy to find the schedules and fares that you need. I'm staying at the Magnolia Hotel, located in downtown Houston. It's within walking distance of lots of different attractions, including Discovery Green, which is a beautiful park, uh, the Downtown Aquarium, which is great for families or if you just like fish, um, lots of great restaurants, and also the ballpark where the Astros play if you want to catch a baseball game while you're in town. So I will share my first two impressions of Houston. Number one, I stepped off the plane and said, wow, it is hot here. It's mid-September and it's in the mid-90s. So, you know, if you like it a little cooler, you know, most of the year is very pleasant here. So you might want to visit, you know, between October and, and April or May. Um, my second impression was that there is art everywhere here and I love it. You know, parks, random murals, um, you know, even on the side of the road, sometimes you'll see art. And of course, there's plenty of museums and galleries and folk art and graffiti and street art. So if you love art, Houston is the place for you. My favorite part of the trip so far was second Saturday at Sawyer Yards. Sawyer Yards is a gallery and studio space that used to be warehouses and now is home to hundreds of local Houston artists. And on the second Saturday of the month, anyone can come and visit the studios. A lot of them are open, the artists are there, and they're happy to chat with you. And then you can also wander the gallery space in between the studios and, and just really appreciate the, the depth and the breadth of work that's going on in Houston's art scene actually wish I had more time for museums because there's lots of them here and I went to two of the biggest ones the Museum of Natural Science and the Museum of Fine Arts and I spent a couple of hours in each place and it was nowhere near enough time because they're huge and they've got wonderful collections plus there's a bunch of smaller museums there's a craft museum a holocaust museum there's even a museum about funerals and I just didn't have time to check out any of those I'd, I'll have to save it for the next trip so my souvenir from this trip is these little playing cards let's see if you can see it it's a mural that says Houston is inspired. It's one of Houston's more well-known murals. It's right in downtown. And so this is a nice little memento of, of Houston's wonderful art. So who should visit Houston? Well, I've talked a lot about art. So if you are an art lover, you will love Houston. However, it's also well known for food because it's got a very diverse population. So, you know, it's not just the stuff you think of when you think of Texas, like barbecue or big steaks. You know, you can find all that, but you can also find delicious ethnic cuisines from pretty much every corner of the globe because there's lots, there's just such a diverse population here. There's also great stuff for families. Houston obviously is the home to NASA, so you can go visit the Space Center. Kids love the zoo and the aquarium. Uh, there's really all sorts because it's a huge city and there's tons of stuff to do for any type of traveler. And that's all from Houston. Thanks so much for watching.